Hey guys, today we're going to go over a top free list of the biggest cheaters in Magic the Gathering. So when I was making this list, I pretty much selected people who A, cheated for a lot of money, B, cheated on the largest stage possible, being the Pro Tour, and C, didn't really regret cheating. And you know, took the stance that I didn't cheat and that I was just, someone was trolling me, or that they still don't understand they actually did cheat. So first of all, we have Steven Speck, or Stefan Speck. Stefan Speck is a very interesting player. Essentially, he picks seven cards. He was playing a combo deck called Amulet Bloom. Amulet Bloom, if your opening hand has seven of the correct cards, you cannot lose the game. And there's very little interaction. It's a turn one win. So what Steve, Stefan Speck would do is he would present a deck of 53 cards, palm seven cards, Put these seven cards that he handpicked on top of the library and draw those seven cards. Now in a combo deck, there's, there's nothing new of people either putting cards from the lap, from the carnivorous bloom era, but seven cards. I mean, I have never heard of someone egotistic enough to do seven cards and hope their opponent doesn't notice that a good chunk of their deck of your deck is missing when you present the deck. So Steven Speck, one of the most bold cheaters and definitely a someone who has manipulated the game in a way that makes it very little, there's no interaction and he honestly says, hey, I'm good at this deck. Well, yeah, of course you're good at the deck. You pretty much draw the Exodia every single time. So yeah, you're good at this deck. Congrats for cheating. Next, we have Jared Butchler. And I'm going to butcher that name because I don't care. This guy rose to fame from playing very unique decks and winning Rookie of the Year, including, I mean, he was one of the most famous, if not the most famous Magic player in 2013 to 2014. He was an innovator. He was a deck maker. And yeah, it turned out he was cheating all along. Uh, unlike the cheating where it makes your hand or your deck better, he was doing the reverse. He was shuffling the opponent's decks giving them land when they don't want land and not giving them land when they want in land. So pretty much he was mana screwing his opponents or mana flooding his opponents depending on what. So all those creative, unique individual decks, yeah, they weren't actually that good because they can win games if you don't draw anything or you don't draw that land that you need. You don't get your second land, yes, of course you're going to win games. So that is um, kind of what Jared did. Still very adamant that he did not do anything wrong. And he even did an interview stating that I didn't do anything wrong. Now we get to my favorite, not my favorite cheater, but the most famous of all, all cheaters. And what makes him so special? He got caught, banned, came back, had no apologies for cheating. Uh, I believe his Facebook profile at one point was the two explorers. Uh, the Two Explorers is his most famous cheat where he plays multiple lands just for the hell of it. And when asked why did you play so many lands, he said Two Explorers. As if that somehow solved the mystery of why he had five or six lands on turn two. And the most fun, this is a, this is a gem. When you have the number one cheater congratulating Jared, who is probably the number two cheater, in one post. I mean... I cannot find something more ironic or better than this image right here. But the one thing that separates Alex is not only does he not care if he gets banned or cheats or people don't like him, he'll be back again. I promise you, after his ban is lifted, he'll return to Magic and begin cheating all over again. Because this is Alex for you. Um, he likes the spotlight. He likes when Star City Games does, you know, a profile about him, and they ask him, "Hey, what's your favorite card?" He says, "Explore," the card that got him pretty much banned from Magic was his favorite card. So, and he's won so much from Star City Games. He's won Power Nine. He's won thousands of dollars. He's done it at the, you know, at, he hasn't done it at the Pro Tour level. So give that advantage to Jared. But he's done it so frequently with so little disregard for his fellow Magic players, so little disregard for his opponents, that I can't wait until he gets back from 2018 or whenever his ban is over, because I know he'll cheat again, and we'll go and I'll have extra videos to make at that point.
Bye, guys.